The program's so great. Um, well, well, when I was out there, I was wild. I didn't really care nothing about anything. The devil was out to steal, kill, and destroy, and he got me. But coming to this program, it restored like my family, my relationships, my mom and dad, my sisters. Before I came in, me and my sister didn't have a relationship. My, me and my dad really didn't. Me and my mom didn't. And coming to this family, I got a relationship, not with just my family, but with God, the main one. He made me to be a better person. I can understand things better. I got coping skills now. Instead of just going out to do drugs or something, I can actually sit down and talk to somebody and understand. This program is mainly about helping us deal with our problems in a more sober way than just going out and getting high and stuff. Um, Jerry Harvestride's great. He provided this and all the counselors, Carol Luckfield and Don and Jan and Carol Gregory. I got to give a big thanks to them because if it wouldn't be for them, I probably wouldn't be the woman I am today. But all in all, in all it's probably by the grace of God that I'm alive today. And I I thank them very greatly and appreciate it a lot. It's helped me overcome everything. Like growing up, I really, I had a family, but I was surrounded by drugs in and out of my whole life. And then I started getting hooked on drugs at the age of 12. And then from that point on, I really didn't handle anything. My sister committed suicide at the age of eight. My dad went to prison when I was 11 for over drugs. And I really didn't handle nothing. And then coming here, I handled it all better than what I did on the outside. I just did drugs and got high to cover the pain. But in here, I can't do that, so I handled it. And I'm overcomer now. I'm a child of God. Right. And it's, it's a pretty quick transformation. What would you say to people that say, hey, you're just putting on the show? How, how do we know you're sincere? Well, I would say just watch me when I come out to be a Jesus freak. You hear I'm a Jesus freak, but wait till you find out it's true.